Hey. Hello, everyone. My name is Danara, and I'm a photographer. I've been working as a photographer for 12 years in the U.S. for the last two years, and it's my full-time job. Yay! <laughs> Today, I would like to talk about the imposter syndrome. That's the thing I always had, and I still have it, but I try to overcome it. And today I would like to talk about it and my techniques, how I can work on it. So maybe it, it would be helpful for you too. Okay, let's start. Imposter syndrome. Can you imagine like right now I am recording this video and I'm thinking about no one is going to watch this. No one wants it. I'm not going to even post this. So let's see <laughs> if I'm going to post this or no. So four years ago, I moved to the U.S. from Russia by myself and I was questioning my photography career here. I wasn't sure that I'm allowed to, if anyone is going to understand my style and anyone is going to accept my accent too. But the interesting fact is that a lot of American people supported me so much that I started believing in myself. <laughs> and that helped me to become a full-time photographer. Honestly, I always knew that I'm a talented photographer, but it's just the thing that imposter syndrome is stronger than my queen narcissist inside of me. <laughs> okay, let's talk about imposter syndrome. Let's figure out why you have it. So one of the symptoms is lack of the confidence, comparing to others, fear of criticism, and setting high standards. Do you recognize yourself? I do all of this for, always, always. My favorite one is setting high standards. <laughs> the best one. <laughs> the transition between working as administrator in a ski room and becoming a full-time photographer and working for myself was really difficult. And the main thing what helped me, it was a therapy. But I want to talk about another strategies which can help you to overcome this imposter syndrome and which helped me a lot and still helping me a lot when I feel sad or adopting myself or when I want to quit my work I always do that's my favorite thing yay <laughs> okay let's talk about strategies to overcome imposter syndrome first of all recognize it you have to understand that this is a common feeling even accomplishment photographers and artists have this feeling and even I've been doing it for 12 years and every year, maybe even twice a year, maybe even three times a year, I have this, oh, I want to quit it. No, I'm not good enough. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. Everyone has it. You have, you have to just admit it. Okay. Second strategy is reflect on your achievements. You have to always look back and see what you already accomplished. And even if you think it's small things, no, it's not. You have to always celebrate yourself. Third, seek feedback. And other photographers and other artists, they will give you feedback and you will know where you should go to to become a better photographer or videographer or artist. It always helps. And of course, set realistic goals. Set something achievable. You cannot become the greatest photographer in one month. It's just impossible. And of course, the most important thing is practice and learn. Practice makes your photography better. Always, photography is not a thing which will be developed in one day. So it takes some time. And of course, collaborate with the people and other creatives that will help you to understand which style is yours, how you work better, how you need to pose the model. Remember, everyone starts from somewhere. There is no established photographer who was a pro at the beginning. Limit comparisons. You should understand everyone is different. Everyone has their own unique style. And you need to focus on yourself and compare yourself one year ago from yourself right now. Develop your own style. That's what will help you to stand out from another photographers. And that's how people will recognize your work and you. And of course, share your work in exhibitions, magazines, social media. That will help to build your self-confidence. And of course, my favorite one is talking about it. Talk about your imposter syndrome with your friends, family, and therapists. Honestly, therapy, that would help me a lot and still helping me when I'm falling into that hole again. 
Remember, every photographer, every artist has self-doubt. I have imposter syndrome every year and every year I want to quit photography. <laughs> I see that more successful photographer or artist and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to do the same, but I don't know how to do this. So probably I cannot do this. But then I'm like, no, 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 stop, stop, stop. Let's see the steps I can, I can do so I can achieve that level, the new level. And after that, I'm like, okay, nice. So what is next? <laughs> And I feel like you should look at imposter syndrome as a tool for your growth and as an opportunity to reflect on your own work and see, seek for the feedback. Guys, I know you can do it. You can beat this fucking imposter syndrome. And hopefully this video was helpful for you. Please put the like button, <laughs> subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Love you. Bye.